Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on To Catch a Killer, starring Shalene Woodley in a thriller movie about a marksman who's shooting people in a city. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and sub subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10 available at Amazon.com. Don't, no, sorry. 1 through 11 available at Amazon.com. Uh, so our main character is a cop, but she uh, flunked her psych eval because she wanted to be an FBI agent. But she kind of has another chance with this case because she's got a lot of talent. From the director of the Academy Award nominated film Wild Tales. I don't know what that was. Um, it's a mystery. So you've got this sharpshooter who's running around shooting people and they're trying to capture him. So he's kind of like a serial killer, but a marksman. And then she's looking over all the victims, and none of them have any kind of connection. So uh, I kind of like this setup because, uh, first off, no offense to the actress, but she they don't glamorize her. And I think that's a good thing. It makes her look more real and grounded. Um, she is uh, uh, a character that's flawed already from the get-go. She flunked out of the Academy because of her psyche vow. So it kind of makes her vulnerable, but then she has this chance to kind of prove herself by solving the mystery. And uh, so they do some searching and they solve the mystery eventually. Come on. <laughs> so first act, uh, there's a killer on the loose. They show him killing. And cops come. She's, she's there trying to solve it. Then the FBI gets involved. It gets out of hand. And uh, of course, the killer eventually comes for her. And then she has to outwit him in the third act. So the first act, the killer is killing. And the cops come. They're after him. Second act, they nearly catch him. Maybe they have some false alarms. She's the only one that can figure it out. She does the third act uh, after possibly a false accusation. The killer goes after her. I mean, it's pretty standard stuff, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the look of this whole thing. It, it feels very grounded. Um, you know, so I like the pacing of it coming soon. Uh, Emmy award winner, Ben Mendelsohn or Mendelssohn from the executive producer of Arrival and Memento. Oh, there's a classic. Uh, and I like the, uh, the, uh, FBI guy too. Seems to, they seem to be like a good duo, the FBI guy and the, the cop. I guess is plain closed. I guess she's a detective. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the format of Silence of the Lambs. Except, you know, Jodie Foster is... She's a recent FBI agent. And she is want, a, a, a wannabe FBI agent. But she's still a cop. So, I think it could work. Yeah, I watch this. Would I go to the movies? Maybe. Uh, I've been on the fence about it. I would definitely see it as a, uh, um, you know, VOT. Because I think it, I think it looks good. I like the pacing of it, uh, the the tone and uh, tenor of its, of it, uh, of it, of the cut of this seems like it, it's working really well. Uh, I like the music. I, I like everything about it. The acting. I like the cast. I don't like a lot of super handsome people in a, in a movie like this. I really don't. I, w I want people to kind of be more normal. You know? Uh, it makes it feel more grounded to me. Uh, yeah. So it's called To Catch a Killer. Coming soon. It doesn't have a release date, but uh, I think it could be good. All right. That's it for me, Tony D. And squirmy little Joan wants to go somewhere. Where do you want to go, babe? Where do you want to go? Uh, check us out tomorrow with more videos and check out my book, Piney's Book 11. Don't worry, tomorrow is my birthday. The appropriate celebration is video games and sushi. I had my sushi tonight, video games tomorrow, and we'll see you tomorrow.